These are the holy ones who have received blessings from the Lord and mercy from the God who saves them, but just the people who seek the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace for our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We have uh, multiple uh, people that are, whose feasts are honored today. Uh, we have a saint who was never canonized. We have uh, uh, two blessed, um, one from uh, the New World, from North America, uh, one the missionary who was martyred. St. Bruno uh, was never officially canonized by the church, but was recognized as St. Bruno almost from the moment that he died. Um, he's the founder of uh, the Carthusians, uh, which uh, takes the, the English translation of the uh, uh, the name where uh, the, the monastery was founded, the uh, French Alpine village of Chartreuse. Um, uh, and uh, uh, it was a different, uh, he went back to an older form of uh, common life and that uh, they lived as hermits. They had a central chapel, but they built little hermitages around it. And they, they lived lives of solitude, gathering twice a day, for uh, morning and evening prayer. And then on holidays, they would have a, a major uh, celebration together and uh, including uh, dinner together. But generally they lived, uh, lived uh, lives of solitude and prayer, um, supported themselves in two ways. One, they, they copied manuscripts. They get those copies out there. And again, this was before movable print and printing presses. So the, the kind of the classic idea we have of the monk uh, copying things out. And uh, they also made uh, what uh, I think is the elixir of the gods, uh, the, the liqueur that takes its name from the place, Chartreuse, a uh, uh, rather strong uh, liqueur, uh, comes in two varieties. There's a green and a yellow. Uh, both are, are quite wonderful. Um, it's also the feast of uh, blessed uh, Marie Rose du Rocher, or if you're a baseball fan, you'd say du Rocher. Um, but uh, she was uh, uh, born uh, uh, just outside Montreal. Um, she was the ninth of, well, no, tenth of 11 children, I think, in her family. Um, she had th three brothers who became priests um, when her father died. Um, uh, one of her brothers, who was a priest, invited her and her mother to come live with him at his uh, parish. And so she became the parish secretary and uh, housekeeper. Um, uh, she had wanted to enter religious life, but was uh, thought to be too sickly for that. Um, but eventually uh, uh, the bishop had other ideas and convinced her that uh, since Canada was one parish from coast to or one diocese from coast to coast, he was worried about uh, being able to educate the young. And he convinced her that uh, she would be the person that he needed to start a, a teaching order. And so she founded the order of the, the holy names of Jesus and Mary for education. And uh, uh, an order that eventually grew to be international in its size, but they founded schools all through uh, Canada. She also established the first parasidality to spread the faith. And uh, finally, we have a, a, a Jesuit, um, blessed uh, Diego Aloysius de San Vitore, a Spaniard who, after teaching in Spain, was sent to uh, missionary work, first uh, to Mexico and then off to the Philippines and Guam, and then eventually sent to a, a chain of islands to establish the faith there. He renamed the islands uh, Las Marianas, the Marianas Islands, um, where uh, he baptized some 13,000 uh, uh, people before he was martyred there. Um, and the Marianas uh, uh, became famous 300 years later in the Second World War, and you can ask Mr. Kaplan about that. So as we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament. We find those moments of grace in our lives and offer God thanksgiving. 
recognizing moments of sin in our lives and seek God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who called your blessed Bruno, Marie, Diego, to seek your kingdom in this world through the pursuit of perfect charity, grant that we, through their intercession, may advance with the joyful spirit along the way of love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you have heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain? If indeed it was in vain. Does then the one who supplies the spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith and what you have heard? The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open our hearts, O oh Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey and I have nothing to offer him. And the man says in reply from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
They said before that first reading is one of the more fun uh, first readings uh, uh, or second or third readings that you'll get because it's not often that you hear the great apostle, the great traveler, the great builder of the church, Paul, to start calling people stupid. Uh, as I said, you could be like St. Paul of New Jersey. What, you guys stupid? Um, uh, because the Galatians... Um, after they've been baptized and, and, and brought into the faith by, by Paul, after he leaves, the, as he refers to it, the Judaizers, the, the Jewish Christians there were trying to tell the, the, the Gentile Christians, um, oh, you've got to follow all the Mosaic law. And, uh, and what Paul is telling them, what do you think saved you? He says, it's, it's Jesus on the cross that saved you. Not uh, a surgeon's scalpel, not uh, not a cook's menu. Um, those are those things are there to help you as they can. But your, your your faith has to be a not not in those things, but in Jesus Himself. And, and in our gospel uh, uh, today, we continue yesterday's reading. That they they came to Jesus and said, "Tell us how to pray." And He gave them the Lord's Prayer. And and today He tells them. Uh, now that they know how to pray, he tells them why to pray. Um, and he, and, uh, and he, uh, he says, you know, ask for the things that you need. Um, uh, uh, seek it and you'll find it. Knock and it'll be open to you. Um, be persistent in that prayer. Um, and, uh, and in doing so, he's foreshadowing. Uh, his own example is that he, he proves this example uh, most powerfully uh, in the events of the Passion. Um, after they have the, the great Passover meal and they go back out to the Garden of Olives to, to camp out, everybody falls asleep and he goes off to pray. What does he pray about, God? Father, if there's another way, I'm really, I'd really be happy to follow it. But your will, not mine. Um, and, and and today, uh, he's he's telling us this the same way. He says you can pray for all of these things, but as you pray, seek God's will in it. Um, you know, we can say in our Father for for such and such thing, and then all of a sudden it doesn't happen. Um, we didn't find what we lost. The person who was sick didn't get uh, didn't get healed. Um, uh, a loved one passed away. Um, uh, he's, he's pointing out to us that what you were praying for um, uh, is bigger than what that is. The reason you're praying is bigger than that 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 one instance of thing that you're praying for. Um, because as he concludes it, he says, "How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to you?" The reason is to keep keep praying, not so much to have my will be done, because that's what we're asking for when we're asking for something, but it's to come in, in closer knowledge and closer relationship with God, to be filled with his Holy Spirit, um, because all of the things of this world are transitory, but relationship with God is something that, uh, that is eternal, and that's what we're, we're seeking to build, that relationship with God that will last forever and ever. Um, uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I always think of, you know, we, we only see Jesus really praying a few times in Scripture. We're always told he goes to do it, but, but when he actually prays, one of them is when he ra raises Lazarus from the dead. What was his prayer then? Father, I ask you to do this. I know you always hear my prayers, but do this so that they may come to know you. And, and he calls out, Lazarus, come forth, and he comes forth. Raised him from the dead. Wow, that was amazing. But he died again. Um, we don't have Lazarus walking around visiting people today. Um, uh, that was just a, a sign to, to let people know that God is there. This was God's son, and God, God loves us enough to, to do what his son asked for. But what Lazarus, you know, I was kind of felt sorry for Lazarus because he made it, and all of a sudden he's brought back. 
um, you know, I don't know that I want to be raised from the dead. Uh, and, you know, unless dying is a really cool thing, you can do it you know, multiple times. But, you know, the, the cool part is you get to be you're in full relationship with God. Uh, and that's the reason he asks us to pray, that, that we come to know God and God fills us with his spirit. Together our prayers and bring them before our God. Begin with a prayer for peace in our world. As that God send his spirit of peace to the minds and hearts of all men and women. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the church. In gratitude for God's word and God's sacraments. For God's, God's saints and missionaries. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our nation. We ask that God enlighten the, the hearts of our, our leaders. Um, enlighten the hearts of all people that we may uh, truly make our, our, our nation uh, a sign of his glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for our ministry of education, a ministry begun by Jesus and Mary and Joseph, continuing through Bruno and, and uh, uh, Marie and uh, Diego and ongoing here in our Grand Traverse schools. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pray for the victims of the hurricanes in the Caribbean and in Florida. That God may be with them. We can keep in mind very especially our own uh, alumni and benefactors and, so, and those uh, who have been impacted by this. We pray to the Lord. Lord um, I offer this mass for my sister Donna. She celebrates her birthday today. Uh, God may continue to bless her. We pray to the Lord. Lord for your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We celebrate three, uh, three people, a saint and two blessed, who followed religious vocations. We pray for religious vocations, especially from our schools. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, we come before you, bringing your hopes and desires. These you've given voice, others we hold silent in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you, through your Son, Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the gift of the earth, the work of human hands, that we come for us, the bread of life. Lord, God, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine, the work of human hands, that we become our spiritual bread. Lord, God, Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and all the Holy Church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Bruno, Rose, Marie Rose, and Diego be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and that grant that release from earthly attachments, we may find our riches in you alone. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through your Son, Jesus our Lord. From the marvelous confession of 
Bruno, Marie, Diego, and all of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all who eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jeffrey, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, St. Bruno, Blessed Marie, Blessed Diego, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching to raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So the Lord be with you all. Mm -hmm. So offer each other a greeting of God's peace. Lamb of God, we take away. Lamb of God, we take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
They can see that the Lord is good. Blessed the one who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. We pray, almighty God, that we who are fortified by the power of the sacraments may learn through the example of your saints to seek you above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new, new man. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May almighty God bless you. Father of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace.